we have an interesting case of damage here. On this fuel delivery module, the sender unit cable is loose and the electrical contacts are bent. The complaint submitted was tank indicator error. How could that have happened? This kind of fuel delivery module consists of the flange cover and the reservoir, which contains the sender unit and the fuel pump. This two-part construction enables the fuel delivery module to compensate for changes in the size of the fuel tank, for example due to temperature differences within a certain range. However, it appears that in this case the tank has contracted so much that the sender unit cables have been sheared off. An excessive loud hissing when opening the tank cap led to the presumption that the actual fault could be found in the fuel tank ventilation system. The fuel tank ventilation system not only prevents harmful hydrocarbons from getting into the environment, it is also designated to prevent excessive pressure and vacuum in the fuel tank that, for example, can occur when withdrawing fuel or due to extreme outside temperatures. The possible causes of faults can include defective solenoid valves, a blocked activated carbon canister, a blocked venting valve in the fuel tank cap, bent or blocked connections. In our case, it was indeed a defective solenoid valve, reinforced by low outside temperatures, that led to a significant vacuum in the fuel tank, which caused the tank to contract excessively. So with faults like this, checking the fuel tank ventilation system is always worthwhile.